Okay, uh, I wanted to make a, a short video to talk about um, what my experience was on an elemental diet. Um, short, short backstory, I, I've been on an elemental diet in the past. I actually had some pretty good success using it. Um, I'm in a flare right now and I'm going back to the elemental diet. And the reason that I'm gonna, gonna go back to it is because I did have good success using it in the past. So um, I'll tell you what happened in the past. Basically, I was on the diet for about nine days and um, over the course of those nine days, uh, I saw, um, I basically saw my, my bleeding stop and my gut return to, you know, normal. Um, but how it actually played out, so uh, over the over days like one to three, I, um, I was still having solid waste. I mean, I'd been constipated for a long time um, and there was just a lot of backed up waste that needed to, to clear out. Uh, as that waste cleared out, you know, it, it caused a lot of bleeding, it was painful. Uh, I still had my urgency, so I was still running to the restroom. But it was easing up uh, towards day three. Um, days four to six, the, uh, the bleeding lessened significantly and actually stopped. It stopped around day six, I think it was. Um, and uh, my urgency was much less. Um, the pain was much less. Uh, and this is down to the fact that I you know, wasn't having solid stool moving through my colon. I was actually giving my colon um, time to rest. Um, and over days seven to nine, it was just the continuation of that success. So my, I didn't have any bleeding um, didn't have very much urgency. There was still a little bit of urgency, but it, it wasn't too bad. Pain, not, not really any pain, possibly mild discomfort. Um, but, um, you know, after I got to that point, it's very hard to stick to, to just a liquid diet for nine days, right? Um, and honestly, I should have stuck with it for longer than I did, but uh, I was really low on energy. Um, you know, I kept having these like sugar highs and sugar lows. Um, you know, if, if you guys don't know why that is, a lot of um, elemental diets have um, very simple sugars in them. Some of them have uh, maltodextrin, that's the, the most common one. You'll find that in the products like Vivanex and, and some of the others. Um, uh, some of them will have glucose or dextrose, although that really plays um, with, with your blood sugar. Um, but yeah, I was having these ups and downs. I was low on energy. Um, I, I was cranky. Um, probably wasn't that fun to be around for my wife uh, and I really wanted to get back on, onto a solid diet so around day nine I moved back onto solid food um, transitioned myself um, onto a, uh, a ketogenic diet um, when I say transitioned I actually did it way too quickly I should have really like you know done, done some food tolerance testing um, as I was weaning myself back onto the diet but I didn't do that I, uh, I pretty much just went straight to a ketogenic diet um, and I'll, I'll, I'll create a future video on a ketogenic diet um, if, any, if anyone's interested as to what that is and, and, uh, and what the diet was. But um, I should have stayed on the um, elemental diet for a longer period of time. I should have given my colon more rest. Nine days is just not enough for healing, not in my experience anyway. Um, so this time I'm gonna uh, probably give myself two or three weeks on the on the diet on the liquid diet which is gonna be really tough um, but the alternative is being ill so when you're motivated like that it, it kind of makes it um, kind of makes it a bit easier uh, and I'm gonna do things a bit differently as well so um, when I actually come off the diet I'm gonna limit certain things so I'm gonna limit Dairy, or I'm going to eliminate dairy entirely. Um, you know, some people say you can actually go on to you know consuming dairy from A2 cows. That's cows that don't produce um, uh, beta, uh, A1 beta casein, the type of protein that gives a lot of people trouble. Um, I'm going to uh, not have any nuts. I actually consumed nuts very quickly after uh, finishing the elemental diet which you know, I think just contributed to tearing up my colon again. It, it just wasn't ready. Um, so I'm gonna eliminate nuts. I'll still have some, some nut butters from sprouted nuts, um, but I'm gonna really limit my nut intake. 
uh, and I'm also going to wind the fats up slowly. So a lot of people um, with compromised digestive systems struggle with fat. Um, and obviously the ketogenic diet is like 70% fat. So I went straight to a very, very high fat diet, uh, which really didn't sit well with me. Um, so that needs to be done uh, much slower as well. But um, yeah, for anyone who's interested in, in the elemental diet and kind of how it pans out and how it feels, how it works, uh, you guys will be very low on energy. Um, you know, you will have these sugar highs and sugar lows depending on what the macronutrient composition is of your shake. Um, you'll probably be cranky, uh, but it does give your bowel rest. For me, it really worked. For me, over the course of those nine days, I actually, you know, found myself not bleeding anymore. I found myself, um, you know, not having the urgency and the pain that I was having um, in the past. And the, the downsides are, are worth it to me. I mean, if, if I had to choose between, you know, blood, pain, mucus, urgency, and, you know, being a bit cranky and tired, I'll take the cranky and tired any day. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to try and stick on it for longer this time, give my colon more of a chance to heal, um, and uh, then transition back to a normal diet, uh, specifically a ketogenic, ketogenic diet, uh, much slowly after I've um, after I've uh, after I finished the the elemental diet, I'll actually go into some detail on uh, the specific components of the elemental diet um, in a future video. I'll go into which elemental diet I'm using, um, and I will also tell you about what I'm supplementing with. Uh, supplements actually form quite a big part um, of an IBD remission diet, so I'll talk about the supplements. Um, yeah, so I, I hope that was interesting. Um, if you guys want to, uh, you know, stay tuned to see how I do over the course of the next few days, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you soon.